Dear colleagues, we would like to introduce our talk on cultural memory of Chernobyl in literature and fine arts. In case of a picture book, The Flowers Beside the Fourth Reactor by Katerina Mikhalitsina and paintings by Maria Primachenko. In the paper, reception of creative works of Maria Primachenko in a picture book as a realization of generations and the memory theme and as a preservation of cultural memory are considered. So this talk consists of several parts, which you can see on the slide. In particular, introduction, a reception of creative works of Maria Primachenko in a picture book as a realization of generations and the memory theme on a verbal level, Paintings by Maria Primachenko as preservation of cultural memory in a picture book on visual level. Conclusion and references. The research paper aims at comparing the works of different arts. A picture book Kvita Bila Chetvartoho, The Flowers Beside the Fourth Reactor by Katerina Mikhalitsina, and paintings of a representative of naive art, an artist Maria Primachenko. The paper explores the interaction of various arts based on Chernobyl's issue within the comparative interpretation. Chernobyl represents tragic events in the history of Ukraine. It is depicted in numerous forms of arts, such as cinematography, literature, and the fine arts. Therefore, the complex of different artworks devoted to Chernobyl uppermost confirms the traumatic cultural background of Ukrainians together with the eagerness of sharing this experience and comprehending intention to recall the cultural memory of Ukrainians. In this context, Yuri Lotman appropriately accentuates on the interaction of cultures as unique structures which elements function both separately and as a whole unit. In other words, Various artworks are simultaneously autonomous semiotic structures and mutual supplements developing into a whole unit. The paper concerns syncretism of the picture book The Flowers Beside the Fourth Reactor by Katerina Mikhalitsina. In comparison with the paintings of an artist representative of naive art, Maria Primachenko. Due to our urge to examine several texts, it is appropriate for analysis to apply the method of the comparative interpretation by Natalia Lishchinska. Ulrich Weinstein emphasizes the possibility of comparative interpretation among different arts. When one of the compared objects or one of the elements is literary. In this case, literature acts as a recipient. In other words, literature perceives visual information interprets it and makes its own impression of the information and then transmits it in its own way. You can see on the slide some types of connections between literature and the fine arts. From the comparative interpretation, we tend to take a scrupulous look at the implementation of the cultural memory in texts for children. According to Astrid Earl, cultural memory is the interplay of present and past in social cultural contexts. Ukrainian culture depicts its significant senses via specific symbolic forms, such as memorable places, dates, remarkable figures, and folklore, literature, and figurative images, which are transferred through generations. What causes such processes? In fact, these are some events and tragedies of the society. In our research, this is the Chernobyl catastrophe that happened in 1986 in Ukraine. In the research, we draw attention to a contemporary picture book, The Flowers Beside the Fourth Reactor by Katerina Mikhalitsina. It follows the issues of Chernobyl in Ukrainian children's literature, indicates its duration and necessity of traumatic experience rec reconsideration. Furthermore, it is essential to accentuate on peculiarities of a picture book genre where the connection between a word and an image is urgent. As Maria Nikolaeva asserts, the unique character of picture books as an art form is based on the combination of two levels of communication, the visual and the verbal. Making use of semiotic term terminology, we can say that picture books communicate by means of two separate sets of signs, the iconic and the conventional. The picture books 
assist children to decode the images of two different science systems, the verbal and the visual. A picture book by Katerina Mikhailitsina refers to the paintings of an artist, Maria Primachenko, recounts her story in Chernobyl. From the reception of fine arts, the author demonstrates the problems of generations, memory, and nature conservation that are implemented on the verbal and visual levels. In a picture book, there can be conventionally distinguished two storylines. The first, a story of four generations of Ukrainian family of a girl, Stasia, after Chernobyl tragedy. The second, a story of the artist Maria Primachenko, who witnessed the Chernobyl catastrophe. The very occurrences had an impact on her works. Both storylines interweave all into a central character, a little girl, Stasia, and her great-grandmother who experienced all the tragedy of the Chernobyl disaster. The image which symbolizes the Chernobyl disaster is wormwood. For emotional reinforcement of the image of the Chernobyl disaster as a tragedy of the Ukrainian people, the writer puts wormwood in hustka, a handkerchief, because it is one of the oldest traditional elements of Ukrainian women's clothing. It is associated with various rituals and customs, birth, christening, and marriage. In Mikhailitsina's text, the handkerchief is supported visually. In the picture, which depicts the great-grandmother put in warm wood, gray colors prevail, but the handkerchief itself has bright colors. There is a certain symbolism in this, the tragedy of motherhood, the loss of loved ones, and the intention to preserve the memory of the family and the tragedy. The main purpose of the image of the great-grandmother is to tell descendants about the family rooted in Ukrainian traditions and customs. The author seems to draw a parallel between different types of painting and embroidery as an important cultural tradition of Ukrainians. The great-grandmother's story are one way or another connected with the ones about Maria Primachenko, a part of her biography and recognition as an artist who refused to leave her na native village after the Chernobyl disaster is mentioned on the slide. Their perception of Maria Primachenko's works within the visual level is implemented on two levels. The first one is a direct allusion to her paintings. The second one is the presentation of paintings of the main character Stasia performed in Maria Primachenko's style. Maria Primachenko is one of the representatives of naive art. According to Natalia Pecherska, naive art implies a style of simplified forms, crystal clear colors, violated perspective and a fresh look. This peculiarity of the artist's creative style allowed the writer Katerina Mkhalitsina in the works to reflect the illustrations of the main character Stasia, who has a talent for drawing. Indeed, Stasia's drawings have a quite engaging plot. Animals of unusual colors, in particular an orange hair and a pink horse with a fish tail arranged in a tea party. There is an opinion that Maria Primachenko created an inscription on her paintings. Flowers grew beside the fourth block and the fourth uh, power unit. This is how the fourth block was pictured in a dream. Flowers will grow on it and children will carry flowers as a monument will be forever on, around him. Doves will fly to eat our heroes. They saved us and left us. In 1986, the year of the Chernobyl disaster, Maria Primachenko creates a painting with a bizarre creature, Threat of War, which sign you can see on the slide. In her picture book, The Flowers Beside the Fourth Reactor, Katerina Mikhailitsina also reflects the Chernobyl motifs. The neuronic colorful illustrations of the village, the Ukrainian's house with embroidered towels, jugs, embroidered tablecloths, a portrait of the artist against the background of her painted hut and flowers, contrast to black and white paintings of city streets and Stasis house, and most importantly, with three double spread illustrations dedicated to the explosion of at Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Finally, we would like to summarize. First, 
Chernobyl is a world event that is reflected in various kinds of art. Ukrainian art reveals the peculiarities of the cultural memory of the Ukrainian people, which is based on memorable dates, places, and works, in particular the events of the Chernobyl disaster. Second, the figure of Maria Primachenko is one of the elements of the cultural memory of the Ukrainian people. The artist has created numerous paintings dedicated to the events at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Therefore, her work continues to inspire writers and animators. Third, the comparative interpretation of literature and fine arts not only allowed to consider works of different arts dedicated to Chernobyl, but also to comprehend the reception of fine arts, paintings by Maria Primachenko in Katerina Mikhalitsina's picture book, The Flowers Beside the Fourth Reactor, on two levels, verbal and visual. Both levels contribute to the realization of Katerina Mikhalitsina's artistic idea, not only to actualize the traumatic cultural experience of Chernobyl, but also to encourage young people to preserve the memory of tragic events, respect the family, Ukrainian culture, nature, and animals. Thank you for your attention.